The pot is a vampire. Sam to try. Greetings, pod fans. It's base day. But cool your guns, so I can attempt to lengthen this video with something you don't want to hear about. Or maybe you do. Hang around, as this is kind of interesting. So thanks to Scott and Campbell's for allowing me to borrow this book. 211 Things a Bright Boy Can Do by Tom Cutler. <clears throat> Every young man should acquaint himself with the basics of self-defense with an umbrella, walking stick, or lady's parasol. If only to pick up a few ideas for an entertaining after-dinner speech or video installation. How did they know? Properly handled, a tightly rolled umbrella can be a singularly effective defensive weapon, although it makes a sorry club. Do not be tempted to hit your assailant with it, as all that will happen is that he will become wet, since a closed umbrella absorbs much of the energy that a stout stick of the Penang lawyer type transmits straight into the aggressor's hand. And an open one is a hopeless weapon, especially in high wind. I have heard it said that the sudden opening of a self-expanding brawly in an assassin's face is momentarily startling, giving you an edge of surprise but you then have the problem of collapsing and furling it again. No, the best thing to do is to use the point, the spike jab being the umbrella's deadly secret weapon. Hold the instrument in front of you like a rapier and give your opponent a swift, sharp poke in the face, abdomen, or ghoulies. <laughs> ghoulies. That should curb his enthusiasm pretty quickly. Cousin of the umbrella is the walking stick, and the same jabbing move with the sixth blunt ferule has an equally persuasive effect on a ruffian. Once he's on the ground, you'll find you can hold him there till the cows come home, with your sick planted resolutely in his middle. Occasional downward pressure is a convincing reminder that he is in a weak negotiating position. You can now chat to him about the invisibility of swearing, the merits of Asbos, the expected arrival of the law, and other points of interest. Whereas an umbrella makes a poor bludgeon, the walking stick is the connoisseur's shillelagh of choice. The ability to live a hearty wallop with a rapidly swung walking stick puts even the most palsied grandpa into a position of power. Practice whistling the, your stick through the air in enormous circles while strolling in the countryside. You will find it possible to get up enough momentum to knock the wing mirrors off cars. Faced with an attacker, swing the stick like a helicopter blade, suddenly bringing it down on him from above in a slicing action. This makes it difficult to grab, enhances its potential to hurt, and leaves your other arm free to affect a nose grip or ear twist, or to maintain a protective guard. Aim especially for the forearm or the inside of the knee, or for the bony bits, collarbone, shin, elbow, and hand. Avoid an assailant's head unless you are trying to kill. Okay, thanks for bearing through that boringness. Unless you just skipped to see me play bass again. So here it is! Number one. <laughs> Number three. And finally, number six. Once again, let me know what the answers are in the comments. Slon.